We'll guide you through how to set up an Amazon Fire TV stick. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. So with a Fire TV stick, you can go and access your favorite streaming apps amongst many other things. So let's go and open it up. Let's run you through what you've got here. So what you've got here is an HDMI extension in case you can't plug the stick right in. Here you've got the remote, you've got a power plug, and then you've got the Fire TV stick itself, and then you've got the cable for it. So let's go and start setting this up. So grab the TV stick. What we're gonna do is go and plug this into the TV stick. Come to the back or the side of your TV. You're gonna go and plug the TV stick into an HDMI port. If you find the TV stick won't plug in, you can use the extension. Then what you can do is go and grab the USB. If your TV has a USB, you can go and plug it in. Otherwise you need to use the plug that it came with. Now grab the remote and what we want to do is push down and we can remove the cover. And what we need to do is go and get the batteries. These are also in the box and we can put them in. These are AAA ones, which you can go and get others for as well. Power on your TV. You need to go and select the source that you went and plugged the TV stick into. So come to source and then we've got unknown, which I can go and press. You can see the Fire TV stick was connected and it's loading. We need to pair the remote, so go and press the home button on the remote. We'll then go and press the play pause button. You can go and choose your language. In this case, the power is insufficient. So what I'll do is go and plug it into the wall with the adapter. You've got two options here. You can set it up with the Fire TV app or with the remote. I'm gonna set it up with the TV app. So what you can do is grab your phone and you can go and scan the QR code. Now we can start the process. Select your Wi-Fi network and we can press continue and enter the password. You can go and get the Fire TV app. It's got some useful features as well. Now we can wait for it to update. Confirm you want to register it to your account. There'll be some preferences you can run through. What we can then do is select the apps we want, tap along with the remote and you can go and click them. Then press continue at the bottom. You can choose your screensaver and there are some other preferences as well. Now you can enter a pin. You can add multiple profiles if others use it. I just use mine. That's it. We've now gone and set it up and we can go and start browsing through it and using it.